Hi guys, it's Sophie. So today I'm going to be showing you my May TBR, um, loose TBR, but I just thought I'd pick a few things that I'm interested in reading soon and chat about them. Um, I may not get to all of them, um, I will get to some of them, I was going to say any of them, but I will get to some of them. Um, so I'm going to start with the ones I've got for my next like lot around the world. Um, so one I've really wanted to pick up since I bought it um, is Deleted Scenes for Lovers by Tracy Slaughter, um, which is a collection of contemporary um, New Zealand uh, fiction um, that seem quite dark and I just think I might enjoy it. Um, I also feel like from the cover it might be like quite a good spring, maybe some warmth feeling to it, um, but we'll see. It just, yeah, I read the first like little bit of the first story and it just seemed like it was my kind of thing. Um, lots of like weird graphic dark stuff so yes I am definitely going to get to this one soon. Next one I have is quite different and that is I Shall Not Hate um, by Isalyn Abelayesh um, which is my pick for Palestine. Um, I think it's a story of a doctor who works across the line I think. Um, I've been reading quite a few memoirs about doctors recently and I thought it might be quite interesting to pick one up that is um, completely in a different vein um, and yeah this is a really battered old copy but I am really looking forward to it. Um, I was kind of torn between reading this one and my pick for Syria but I think the kind of medical storyline swayed me towards this one being the one I want to pick up next. And looking at my map I realise I haven't touched Africa yet <laughs> um, so I'm going to have a go of Evening Primrose um, by Kapani Matwala. Um, this one was sent to me by review, um, gosh I don't remember who by. Scepter um, a little while ago and I think this is yeah this is Doctors 2 this is Doctors 2 um, yeah I've heard quite good things about this one from Acacia from Acacia Ives um, and I love the cover um, and I just need to get something in Africa on my map my goodness um, I, I yeah it's just a big hole it was a, it's a big hole in my knowledge um, and I thought South Africa and a little book is quite a good place to start and the last one I have, I've waited too late, I should have read it in the snow, um, but that is The Scandal by Frederick Bachman. Um, this is a story of, I think, either a school shooting or just a shooting. Um, someone shoots, one child shoots another, another child. Um, it's kind of thriller-esque, um, kind of small town society broken apart by one action type thing. Um, and it's one I'd really wanted to read for a long time. I thought I was going to read it sooner because I was doing around Europe. Needed a break from Europe, but actually I want to have a go about this one soon um, and I don't think it's going to be too much because I have separated myself from Europe a little bit recently. And the last round the world I think I might have a go at is um, Frankenstein in Baghdad. Um, I've actually been reading The Iraqi Christ um, but I think I said in my last video that it's quite depressing. Um, I think this, is a, this one's going to be depressing too um, but I just don't know that my head's in the right space to be reading The Iraqi Christ and I'm really looking forward to this one. Um, so I might get around to Iraq. I really miss reading the Middle East um, and just want to read something from Iraq. So yeah, I may get to this one, but I think that's less sure than the other ones. And then I've chosen five um, not around the world books, so one of them is going to class as it anyway, um, that I just really want to read and are just on my list. Um, the first one is Die My Love by Erin Hardwitz, and this is actually the one I'm going to pick up tonight. Um, this is... Argentinian literature, so this will come for Argentina, assuming I read this one before my other Argentina pick. Um, and it's about a woman in the French countryside who kind of loses her mind a little bit. Um, I'm really tired, but I'm going to have a shower, get into my pyjamas, and then read this for as much of tonight as I can stay awake for. The next one I had was also on my TBR for Dewey's um, and I just didn't get round to it and that is Living With Pattern. Um, I really want to read this partly because I just want to read it and partly because it's like so big. It takes up so much space on my desk um, and I just want to have a look through it and be able to put it on my bookshelf. Um, so I think this is one I just need to take with me somewhere and just enjoy. Um, it's one that you could kind of dip in and out of I think rather than read in one go. Um, but I think I'm going to take it with me places, even though it's big and really freaking heavy. Um, because I just think I'll enjoy it more if I have to focus on it. I think if I read tiny bits of it at home, I would feel like I needed to read something else. Um, so those two are ones you already kind of knew about. And then the next three are ones I just fancied um, and I think I'm going to enjoy as well. Um, so yeah, kind of a mix of things. Um, the first one I have is Deborah Levy's The Unloved, um, which is a story about, um, again, remote French 
house um, and a woman is murdered and the unloved child seems to be the one who knows what's happened to um, the woman who's been murdered. Um, this was part of my reading more women, just kind of just had a sudden like, oh I need women. Um, and yeah, I've just, I've really enjoyed Deborah Levy's non-fiction that I've read recently and just kind of want to read everything she's written at the moment. So um, this is one I'm definitely going to be getting to in the next few weeks. And then non-fiction wise, um, I have this one which is I Wish I Could Be There um, by Alan Shaw. And this is pretty much the only account, like memoir account of agoraphobia that I could find. If there's others that you think are good that you, you know of, um, do pass them my way. Um, my boyfriend actually has agoraphobia so I'm kind of trying to learn and trying to help and trying to understand um, and the way I understand new things is often by reading about them. Um, and I've only read the first page but he's like yes this is accurate so we'll see, we'll see how I get on with it. Um, I do think the cover is quite cool. Um, but yeah if there's any others on agoraphobia that you think are worth a read even if they're like clinical um, do let me know because I quite like reading medical texts. <laughs> And the last one is one I rushed to as soon as I lifted my Round the World ban, and that one is Feel Free by Zadie Smith. Um, collection of essays, very kind of British focus, um, and I was just so jealous of everyone reading this one in the new year, um, and it's time. Um, I'm going to allow myself to get into this one soon. Um, I think I'm really going to enjoy it. I've liked her fiction. She's grown on me as I've read her, actually. Um, she wasn't my favourite author when I first started reading her. I thought she was a bit overhyped. Um, but the more I've read as Zadie Smith, the more I appreciate her writing. Um, and I've not read non-fiction by her yet, um, and I love essay collections. So I'm really hoping that I get on with this one too. Um, so it's quite a formidable pile of books, um, 10 books. Um, it should be fine numbers wise, but I might flit around and read other things in between. Um, I thought it'd be nice just to kind of share what I'm thinking as of today as to what I'm going to read. Um, I do actually have a week off in May um, that I'm going to be spending a little bit of it redecorating. I'm not going to show you like I did last time because it's not a library. Um, but I'm hoping I'm going to get a chance to sit and read for a bit and just relax. Um, I had a really like intense April for me. Um, like it's probably not a lot for other people but I went to like three different cities on three different weekends in a row and like it meant I couldn't see my boyfriend so much and I just I'm very chill I'm very relaxed on my weekends normally and I just haven't had the chance to recharge um so I'm really hoping that the week off I have is going to let me settle myself because I'm kind of just like knackered all the time at the minute just because I'm such an introvert and when I when I do that much socialization it properly drains me um so that's my plan is just kind of hide away um in a cottage with some books for a bit. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys are really looking forward to this month. Let me know if there's anything I've spoken about here that um, you you know feel really excited about, and I'll see you guys again soon in I think my April wrap up. Just some stuff I haven't spoken about that I read recently because it wasn't around the world or it didn't fit in. Um, I thought it might be nice just to catch up. Chat to you then. Bye.